Hello everybody and welcome back to the long dark. Oh, 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 two years, two whole years it's been since we last played this game. We played it when it first came out two, three years ago in very early access. And if you guys watch the videos then, you will remember that I played the survival mode and I was just waiting, I was holding on for the story mode to come out and it's been two years and finally it's just been released today. Wintermute, it's the offered story mode for the long dark. So, as I said, as I mentioned, it's been two years since I played this game. So, I am completely back to being a noob at it. So, um, yeah, we're gonna jump straight in. I'm super excited for this. It's been such a long time coming. Um, if you guys don't know anything about long dark, it's a it's first person survival game. Um, and I don't really want to ruin it, to be honest. We're going to learn together. We're going to learn the story together. We're going to go through it together. We're going to have fun. So let's jump into it. Let's go. Uh, episode one. Do not go gentle. Mackenzie and Dr. Greenwood are separated after the plane crashes deep in the northern Canadian wilderness. Struggling to survive, Mackenzie explores the small town of Milton, where he begins to understand the scope of this quiet apocalypse. And episode two will be, obviously, when we finish episode one. So let's start. So... Here we go, let's jump straight in. Mackenzie, we are gonna explore this small town of Milton. So you jump in the game in survival mode, basically just try to survive and explore and kill things and just, the aim of the game is to survive for the, the longest period of time. But, let's stop talking. Let's enjoy this. We've just had a plane crash, all right? Let's be serious. I hear my heartbeat. Hello? Hinterland presents. Oh, here we are. Well, at least we have a pretty, pretty view of the Rory Polialis. This is, it's quite nice. Astrid. Oh, my hand. Oh, I'm, I'm squeamish. That's going to hurt in the morning. Okay, um. We're in, interact. Let's try and get this thing out of our hand for a start off. All right, remove metal. We're just gonna click, 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 click. There we go. Uh. Oh, nice. There we go. That is definitely gonna sting in the morning. Hope we got some plasters for that. But um, yeah, plane crash. They're always fun. They're always fun. They're never dull. They are always fun. So we're a little bit injured. Find some shelter from this wind. Let's find some shelter from the wind. So. Um, here we are. This is how we start the story. At least we've got a nice fire to keep as well, you know. Silver lining and all that. We've got a plane crash, but yeah, we have a first aid kit here. As I mentioned, I am a noob at this, so I will be learning the controls over and over and over again, and I might die. So, we're gonna go through this together. There are many ways to die in the wilderness. Medical treatments, man-made or harvested from the natural will. Will save your life. Use the status screen to check on your health. Apply a treatment using the first aid. Okay, that's fine. Uh, preparation. Yep, that should be okay. Uh, it's empty. We're gonna take a newspaper roll because we need to light the fires. Take the sticks, cloths, and some more newspaper. We're just gonna take as much as we can at the moment, to be honest with you. We're gonna need stuff. Some more cloth here. It's literally like nothing good from this plane crash. Like normally having a, like a small bag of peanuts or maybe some water, but uh, no, nothing. Okay, use the campfire option. Uh, the radical menu you need the uh, fixings. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, pretty much an active fire can be used to cook and boil water Which is all good. This is lovely, isn't it? A nice skeleton And my phone's ringing. Right, so let's see how we are. We are pretty numb, which is always nice uh, We've basically, we're concussed, we're badly bruised, we're feeling weak uh, We're bleeding. Uh, all right, so we really need to start treating us. <laughs> Look at my face. I am not happy and I shouldn't be, because I've just had a plane crash, so it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good emotion to have, that one. So I need to apply some bandages. Here we go. This is gonna stop blood loss. There we go, we feel a little bit better. Now we have, um, still the thing to our hand, so we need to try and sort this out. So we need to try and get a fire going. So we're gonna click on this and click fire, and here we go. Easy as that. So, start a wood match as tinder plug. That should be fire, let's try and start this. Otherwise, we're gonna freeze to death, and we don't really want to do that, so... Yeah, it seems pretty good so far. As I said, a lot's changed. I didn't, the, that menu wasn't even there before. You just walked into buildings. 
and then there was just like a little stove you could put stuff in. That was two years ago, so a lot's changed since then. But yeah, we're getting a fire started. It's nearly going. I seem to be losing quite a lot of health. I'm seeing red. It's never good. Come on, fire! What? No! Fire! Fire, no! Do we not have any... We don't have any accelerant. Can we... Is any of this good? I feel like we were a little bit unlucky because it had a 75% chance of starting. But, um, it didn't start. And I think we're gonna die. Come on. I wanted it to work too, buddy. Trust me. I wanted this fire to get to get started, but, uh, it's not really working. Please don't die! <laughs> Everything's getting fuzzy. I'm just trying to start a fire. Alright? It wasn't my fault. I need this to work so badly, don't I? Fire's life out here. Yes, but I'm also nearly dead. Are you joking? Ah, I think I'm drunk. I lit the fire. Help! <laughs> and I burnt to death. Great. GG game. GG. Need to lay down before I fall down. I did it. <laughs> wow. That was um. That was interesting. That was quite hard. That's the hardest start to give that I've ever had. All right. Gotta be a way to melt some snow. I'm first it. All right. When you bring up blah blah blah. Uh, so basically, I don't want to die. So what I need to do—that's the campfire that's burnt out. So we can still use this. But what we need to do is we need to try and get some water. Like he said, he said he's hungry, but he also said he's thirsty at the moment. We just check our vitals. Uh, we dehydrated and we're ravenous. We're very hungry. Stuck here a while. I'm hoping there's going to be like a, a bag of peanuts from the plane. Uh, can we get any of this? Okay, I don't really need any of this. I need to get some water. So let's go and explore. I can't run. My legs are not that good. We're going to go over here and see if we can find anything else or anything to eat. Just to push us along. Alright, what we got here? We got some reclaimed wood. Don't really want to waste time doing anything for this. Let's search this metal container. See if we can find any food. We've got a... Uh, oh, some food. Some more matches. I will eat this right now because I am hungry. Yes, here we go. Eat. At least we can actually get some food. There we go. We sorted that problem out. Now what we need to do is try and get some water. Now I'm going to loot the uh, containers and stuff like that because it... It doesn't take that long to loot, whereas the crate, you have to dismantle them to get stuff out of them, so... We're just gonna take all these simple things for now. Oh, we got some rose hips. Alright, let's go. Oh, that's a long way down. That is a long way down. Can we actually take snow? Because we could melt it. See what I mean? It's been so long, um, like, actually playing this game that I don't know if we can actually get snow or not, so... Can we do it? Can we actually get snow? I'm a little bit confused right now. I think that's the dead deer up there. Huh. So there we can get some food if we can get up there somehow. Um, oh, there's the tail of the plane right there. And there's definitely something up there. Right, we need to act fast. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, anytime you have a fire, you can melt snow to produce war. But melting it alone isn't sufficient enough to care. If you have the fuel to do so, it's better to boil it to make sure any bacteria, parasites, and impurities are removed. Water treatment pills that you purify non-portable water without using up valuable resources. Okay. Okay, I will take this, and I will take this, because the accelerants are always good. How do we get snow? Yeah, sorry, mate. I'm going to try and get you back in the cave. I just need to get some stuff for a fire. Water purification tablets. That'll do. That's what we needed. All right. Now, if we get back up here before I freeze to death, light a fire, and then, uh, yeah, we can, we can eat some snow. Always good. There we go. We have a fire. Thank goodness for that. Now, we should have an option for water. Melt snow. Here we go. Let's get 100. I don't even know how, how long this is going to last. Are we even going to be able to melt it? Uh-oh. 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 Here we go. Okay, so we've melted the snow. And it's unsafe. Now we can purify it. So let's purify this bad boy. Hey! I'm remembering. Yeah, there we go. Right, so we should... 
We should be good to drink this now. So let's go to drink. And then... There we go. Our water's getting up. How much did we drink? We drank quite a lot. But, um... Yeah! Cut smarts. Affliction, infection risk. I guess we need to, uh, to apply this. There we go. For the, uh... For the infection. Applied antiseptic. Right. Are we good from that? Now we need to treat our hands still. Apparently we just need to heal through rest. That's what it says, so... Okay, so we've got food. We've got that. We're a little... We're not that, that numb anymore, so... I don't feel so good. He said he doesn't feel so good, but we're doing a lot better than what we did. Day number three. All right. We seem to be doing quite well. The weather's turning bad. I'm gonna need a good long fire to keep from freezing to death. Good long fire. Right. Let's check our let's check our health. Sixty percent. Uh, our hands still pretty bad. I reckon we need to go out and try and get some firewood. Otherwise, we are probably going to freeze to death, so let's just grab, like, all the sticks we can. Yeah, I'm just going to try and grab every single bit of, like, sticks and stuff that I can actually find. Uh, because we are going to need it. It's going to be a long, cold night. A few more branches should do it, I feel like. I haven't eaten in, like, a full day. And I only had, like, a few berries or whatever it was in that packet. I don't even know what it was. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's coming night time, as you can see, in the top right-hand corner. What is this thing here? It's like a bit of metal. Okay, we'll just grab this one last thing, and then we should start heading back to our little cave. It is getting quite dark here. Just get a few more of these branches, actually. I don't know if this is going to be enough. I haven't got a clue. We're going to find out soon, though. We're going to find out very soon. All right, let's start heading back up here. We have a million branches. So hopefully that's going to be enough. We can keep adding stuff onto the fire. So let's just... Like, the fire, we haven't got an accelerant. It's got a 55% chance of, of success rate, which isn't always the best in the world. Uh, we need a higher one. Let's go for, like, the st we've got, like, 38 sticks. Let's go for the stick. This is only going to last, like, eight minutes. Maybe we should go for... We probably have to go for the stick. Let's go for the stick. Let's try and start this fire. I shouldn't have wasted all that accelerant, like, on the second night. <laughs> I feel like a, bit, a little bit stupid. A little bit stupid. Come on, fire. You can do it. Once we get this fire lit, we're sorted. We should be good for the night. We can just keep adding sticks. We have lots of sticks. Come on, fire. Don't go out. Add that fuel. Add fuel. Add fuel. Add lots of fuel. Three hours. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just add all the sticks. Right, we got seven and a half hours of fuel. That isn't enough, then I'm gonna be super cheesed off. Is that good? I think we're gonna be good for the night. <laughs> if we don't, we've got this much, then I don't know what, because we have got loads, so. Uh, yeah, what do we do now? Do we just wait? Do we just wait it out? Build a fire in a cave that will last the night, nine hours. I right, so I didn't have enough. Are you joking me, game? Give me some more. What is this? What is this? Uh-oh, we need to get some more stuff. Crit, crit. This is what I needed. Break it down. I thought... I wondered why it didn't actually, like, continue on to the next night. He said it needs to burn for nine hours. We've only got seven and a half. All right. Come on, come on, game. Come on, game. Come on, game. Come on, game. Uh, add fuel. Add fuel. We're still, like, 45 minutes off. This game is so harsh. So harsh. Any more little bits of wood game? A branch. Give me the branches. Come on. Please be enough. Let's go back to our lovely fire. We are hungry, so I'm hoping that the game's just gonna skip the day. Hopefully it will. Right. Add fuel. Add fuel. Add... We're half an hour off. We are half an hour off. This cannot be happening to me. I can't feel my hands. Yep. That's because you had a piece of metal through it, dude. Is there anything up here? These sticks don't last very long. Right, I need to just grab this and go back, because I feel like this will be enough now. Okay, we're grabbing this as well. I didn't actually see the firewood. Go, Squiddy! So cold. I know, I'm cold too, my dude! But not really, I'm actually, I'm actually alright in here. But, uh, yeah, we need to have the fire. Hopefully it'll skip the night. Come on, 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 come on. 
And add fuel. Fire looks good. We did it! Warm up before I freeze to death. Yeah, we did it. Mission updated. Alright, journal updated. Let's go and have a look at the journal. What's the journal saying? Get your body temperature up, warm yourself by the fire for a while. Alright. Go to sleep, mate. Ah, here we did it. Day number four. I really like this. I'm getting the hang of it now. So there's like every day there's like, you know, little bits of stuff to, to yeah, like objectives. Wait, what? What did they say? Some food. Some food. All right. So yeah, because I haven't played it for uh, such a long time, it's, it's really good. It's taken me through, um, you know, all the basics because, yeah, I'm learning now. Now, what I did see is I did see a deer right at the top of that hill. So I don't know if I, I can actually get up there, but yeah. Your ears are your best survival tool. Pay attention to your surroundings and you might glean information that's important for your survival. For example, uh, a murder of crows circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby. Now, I did see the deer up here. Hey, hey it rhymes. Um, no. was a hell of a storm if I can get up this tree. Blew that tree clean over. You see, it's giving us little bits of hints, but we already saw it, mate. We already saw it, so... Let's have a look. There is a bit of a dead carcass here. And there is some more stuff here, so... There's a backpack. Back. Can I get it then? What? What's he doing? Oh, <laughs> I thought he was just laying down in the snow. What? Locked. Wait, yeah. Can you not open it? Ooh, what is this? This is me. But there's my plane in one piece. Playing some cheeky solitaire. I think that's what it is. Hello! Jackrabbit Remote Transport. Mackenzie speaking. Whoa. Whoa, slow down, Morgan. What are you talking about? Why is my nose so red? It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Maureen? Uh, uh. Hello, Will. Hello! Wh what are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. Besides X. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. There's the suitcase. Oh. What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Okay. Right. Who's sick? So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... The... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? No! Mackenzie... Will. That's why they split up. I come here to fight about the past. So he told you. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Well, wait. Questions. And well, did Astrid, it. are you in trouble? Plane crashed. Are you gonna help me or not? What's in the case? What's in the See, box? There's that thing about no questions. Remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. <laughs> bad. <laughs> but it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life for the suitcase. The of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> great. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. Oh! You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? No. The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? 
Because I'm not. Why is everyone speaking in riddles? Just tell you what's going on, all right? Throw your bags in the plane. Why are you taking her? Get started on pre-flight. Mackenzie, come on. Better buckle up tight. My it's gonna be a rough ride. My dude, why why are you taking this crazy lady? All right, you might have dated her in the past, but we're going to a remote location with a suitcase. She's not telling you what's in it. Now, if that was me, I'd be like, get out of my office. I ain't taking you. <sighs> Whatever's in this case. Well, I won. Yeah, she's probably already dead, Astrid is. Can I not take the backpack? Can I take the backpack, please? Why can I not take the backpack? You know, it just seems to be like a logical thing to do. You know, it seems we can, you know, store more stuff in it. But no, we're not taking the backpack because it's Astrid, or whatever her name is. Oh, okay, whatever, right. Um, Will's Court. The car you were in when you crashed in. So his name's Will McKenzie. Okay, uh, clothing is armor against cold. Out in the wilderness, uh, clothing is armor against the wilderness. Okay, cool. So basically, you've got to keep a balance between like the weight and also the. Um, <laughs> I thought the D was wearing a coat then. Yeah, we've basically got to got to keep a balance between the weight and the 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 warmth, the resistance to the clothing. So can we actually put it on? Because it looks like I'm pretty cold right now. We need to repair it. Sewing kit replied to repair repair cloth. So we can't actually do that yet. But let's see if we can eat some of this carcass. Um. All right. How much meat do we need? So, current calories, we have none. Let's take a kilogram. We could do with it all, but that's going to take like an hour and 45 minutes. 100% frozen, so we're going to need to cook it. I'm going to be greedy. I want all of it. I ain't wasting no food, all right? Don't look like I'm in a position where I can waste food. We want all the meat. Why is it still there? The, the deer's just still there. I've just, just taken every single last bit of it. Everything you, you eat you, can kill you. When starving, you may feel desperate enough to take your chances, but in general, eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over fire to avoid food poisoning. Okay. Cook meat also lasts longer and attracts fewer predators. Great. So this is going to attract wolves, probably. A wolf's going to come and eat my booty. Let's take some sticks and some cedar here. Let's take the branch, because it's going to be easier to break down, I'm guessing. But yeah, we still do need quite a bit of fire. So, uh, okay, we need to get a hatchet. Let's just take all this. Uh, is there anything else? I don't want to climb. No, no. <gasps> what is he doing? I didn't even want to climb. And now, um, like, ugh. Sometimes with the nature of our pharmacist, craft rose hips into preparation that can be boiled into water to produce a tea with pain relief and properties. Keep your eyes open for other natural remedies. But why did I need to fall off a cliff to, to learn a recipe? Couldn't someone just tell me? <laughs> You need to get heavily injured to know that the berries will heal you. All right, that'll do. My leg, my leg doesn't sound that good. It sounds like I'm like Pinocchio right now. It sounds like I've got wooden legs. All right, let's go back. Let's cook some of this meat. That was quite a good find. Climbing is bad, I'm guessing. There is something... Hmm, we can actually get up there, but I'm not going to try... Again, uh, until I've like eaten and I've got my temperature because I'm probably gonna freeze to death. But yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. I did it before. It's going all right. Uh, I'm sorry if there's gonna be any like cringy moments in this because, um, uh, as I mentioned, I haven't played for a long, long time. So do go easy on me in the comments, all right? There's, there might be people that have still played this recently, but let me just tell you, it's been two whole years since I last actually played this game. So it has been a long, long time. But yeah, let's go cook some meat. The campfire is still it's still roaring away from last night, which I'm super ha happy about. I don't really want it to go out. We're going to keep feeding it if we can. Uh, how's it got left? It's got another 37 minutes left. So we will actually add some more fuel to it and add a bit more fuel. And we will start cooking some of this stuff. So let's cook some meat and let's finally eat. I want to eat some food. Let's do this. Uh, food cooked. There we go. We could do with drinking as well. I'm just going to cook all the meat because they said it does last longer, so we might as well. We're always going to be hungry. I don't know how long it actually lasts for before it goes spoil, but uh, we're going to just keep cooking it, I guess. We also need to cook the berries. Uh, and we're going to get some more water as well because we're always going to need some more water. Uh, and they also have healing properties, so we're going to add some of them berries in. Most definitely. 
I think we're gonna try and climb the, the big hill again. Might be a bad idea though. <laughs> Uh, let's melt another liter of snow. Right, we're gonna keep eating until we fall because why not? So let's get some food. Let's keep eating. We should get the fall deer in our belly. Here we go. And one more piece. And we fall. There we go. We're just checking the uh, the journal right now. Collect rosebuds. Uh, make rose hip tea to treat your pain. Right, so I'm not sure how to do this actually. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was simple. Just gonna click crafting on it. So can we now boil the water with them? Okay, there we go. Uh, don't go out. Do not go out, please. We do need to add some more fuel on the fire. Uh, we're gonna put some more fuel on. There we go, and we should be able to drink this now, and we should be good to go. We can. And... Was this it? I love that was like a little mug of tea as well. So, that should sort out our pins. Are we good? May as well rest hey, uh... We, what tomorrow will bring. Do we do another day? Woo! Alright, we're gonna do one more day, and then we're gonna end today's story mode for today. It's been really fun, I really enjoyed this actually. Um... Yeah, day number five. Let's see what objectives we have to do today. A little bit darker. I feel stronger today. I think I can climb out of here now. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to try climbing out of here. So, knowledge. As you learn things about the world, either through your own actions or through interacting with people, you unlock knowledge about people, places, things, and actions. Deeper knowledge can be revealed when you gain the trust of other survivors you meet. The knowledge is tracked in your journal for future references. Alright, so we're going to check our vitals right now. We're pretty much all good. So let's get out of here. Goodbye, Ravine. You have been pretty good to me over the last five days. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get out of this place. Goodbye, Steep Hill. Goodbye, dead deer, which I ate, so I don't even know why you're there anymore. Goodbye, Rosebuds. Goodbye, backpack that I can't pick up. Let's I'm climb... Don't fall this time. Oh, yes. Sit. Go on. You can do it. We did it. Watch there be a wolf there right now. <laughs> Let's get some of these rose hip. Oh, man. We're out. Feels so good. Do you reckon we can climb that big tree that's fallen over? Probably not. It's probably going to end in instant death. If, that, if I was playing like Assassin's Creed and I saw that, I'd definitely go for it. But in this game, I feel like even if you fall... Well, I fell from about two foot from that... From climbing up here and I like damaged my ankle. Okay. I didn't even press that. <laughs> it just put me up. All right, here we go. Some more rose hips. There's loads of rose hips around here. We're doing good though. We're climbing well. We're gathering loads of these things. Everything's going great. Can I get up here? Can I? Okay, there we go. Bye! Getting near the top. It's like so purpley there. Alright, there's a few more rose hips here. We're gonna keep getting them because it does make us feel better. I wonder what's over this hill. I wonder if the ostrich is over this hill. Like, you know, just laughing at us. Like, oh, what took you so long? I've been waiting here forever. Finally. I wonder what, she's, it. I wonder what she's got in her uh, suitcase. If that was me. I'd crack it open straight away. I wouldn't be messing about. But like, Astrid, you're not playing any games with me, love. Like, I'm gonna crack this case open. All right, let's go on. Let's go around here. Hello! Ooh! So this is... Where the plane is? This is where the tail of the plane is, anyway. What about ostriches? I kind of want to call it ostrich, but it's a bit disrespectful, isn't it? <laughs> um, oh, man! Well, hope not in there. well, that happened. Ah, here we go. Here's what happened. Well, we know what happened. Play went down, but we'll see. Fuel, check. Altitude, check. Miserable couple, you're still wearing it. check. Huh? We're in what? Your ring. Oh, were they married? Our ring. Oh, <gasps> they were. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, I just forgot to take it off. Oh, Astrid, you broke broke Will's no, heart. Mine too. Why? Memories, I guess. I thought you wanted to forget. 
not all of it. Look. I, I should have looked for you. It's okay. I've kept busy. I've moved on. You sure? Because this all seems pretty familiar. You still working with that researcher, Doctor? What's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. With my suitcase. Freelance doctor. That's a mystery. That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. I Plenty of things. Start of a domestic on the plane, guys. Come on. Dad's old plane and drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane, and it's under control. I know. Okay. I'm not here to fight, really. I think about them all the time, you know. I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. But you don't have to. Let's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's... Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. Uh oh. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Well! The Aurora Bolearis kind of did something to the plane. I wonder what he was talking about, though. There's signs of Astrid around here somewhere. Chapter 2. Echoes of Astrid. Well, yeah, I wonder what he's talking about saying I tried looking for him. Who? I need to know. I need to know more. Mackenzie. Sure which of us looks worse? Poor girl. Where? This isn't how things were supposed to end. This is, uh, it's pretty bad. I don't think she's in there, man. Ooh, what do we got here? We got some beef jerky. Look, I, I told you. Since we're in a plane, there's gonna be like loads of little snacks. We found the snacks. And that's all that matters. Never mind about our deceased ex-wife. <laughs> uh, great. Let's uh, let's open the crate. I said we're gonna break it down. But yeah, man, this story is pretty intense. Pretty intense. We got a vest. We got some socks. Uh, I'm just gonna keep collecting all this stuff because you know we're gonna need it in this game. You know we're gonna need it. I don't think there's anything I can really see in the plane. There's nothing round here. Um, looks pretty pretty mashed up though, to be honest, that plane. So I guess we just move on from it. I mean, sad as it seems, um, I don't. She's not here. <laughs> like, she wasn't in the plane crash. So, wait a minute. There's a little bit of fabric on the tree. Definitely passed through here. Okay, she might be alive. Run for your life! Walking through the snow with heavy pack can get tired, but sometimes you have to run. Just get wildlife, avoid weak ice, or get to a shelter faster by sprinting. Keep in mind that sprinting uses more calories than walking. Okay. Great. So that means there's even going to be a wolf here to munch on my bum. Oh, something else. What else we got here? Uh, it said, search the area around the crash site and beyond. When we search the crash site, I've got to kind of be careful not to run in any wolves or anything like that. Astrid, 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 Astrid. Are you around here? Now, the game told me to run. But uh, I don't see any danger as of yet, so... I'm struggling to really have any sense of urgency about my... Uh, me walking. Some rabbits down there. There's some more clothing. Risk. Hypothermia risk. What the? Oh, my God, I'm freezing. Okay, that's why. All right, maybe we better run because we are freezing. Uh, aim true when you are going great. You can pick up small stones and use them to stun rabbits. Equip them. Okay. How do I? <laughs> great. Right, we gotta try and get these pesky rabbits. This is probably gonna be harder. Oh, we got one. Hello. Oh no. Oh, 
What have I done? I'm a murderer. You saw nothing, kids. <laughs> At least it wasn't gory. Um, great. Well, that, that, that happened, guys. That, that definitely did happen. Right. Can we get this one here as well? I'm like, I'm like shocked and then... I'm like, let's do it again. Oh, you nearly got MLG, rabbit. Oh, this guy. He's so slippery. How are you? No. Dude, come back. Look, mate. I'm not gonna get killed just by chasing you all day, alright? I got better things to do. Can you just... He's gone, hasn't he? He's proper gone. He's, he's just legged it. What a guy! Alright, let's just try and focus, Squid. <laughs> I'm out here chasing rabbits when I should be looking for my... My, uh, my wife. Or my ex-wife, whatever it is. Anyway, let's get some stuff. Got some firewood. We got some beef jerky. Uh, we could start a fight, because I am pretty cold. It wouldn't be... A bad idea to start a fight here, so I think that's what we're gonna do. Hiya! Nearly. Um, I feel like I'm already lost. Where did we come from? I really do need to get a bit of a fire, I think. I am pretty cold, so I don't know whether it's just to to, to go on or to chill here. Literally chill here. <laughs> um, let's go up here. Found more clothing. Way to get up there. All right, let's climb. Let's keep going. I am absolutely freezing, so I do need to find some um, some shelter before hypothermia does in. So I'm hoping we can come across some sort of cave. Oh, I'm just gonna have to put my campfire down. Hello, frozen deer. All right, let's just get all the guts, all the meat. Nice. There we go. Um, let's carry on going. So that's where we were. We need to carry on going this way. Occasionally, you can't obstacle. Crouching might help get under. Also, crouching makes you off. Okay, so basically Crouch is like the stealth mode. Oh, hey, we found a cave. I'm super happy about that. Means I can get warm for the night. Because I'm freezing. I hope there's no bears in here. Oh, we just clicked cave. I think that means we did good. Okay, uh, each light has pros and cons. Right. Oh, no! It's a corpse! Hello? I wonder if this is my wife. Okay, we just got the matches and the fleece. Great. Uh, equipped it. Light it. Wait. I'm so cold. What a lovely man. Yeah. Letting us use his torch. Hello? Hello? I come in peace. I'm friendly. Please, no jump scares. That's my belly, not a wolf. <laughs> Hello? Is there anybody around here? I'm just... hungry. Squid came to a light in the middle of the cave. There was two paths, one going left, one going right. Squid chooses left. What is the purpose of this cave? I'm so confused right now. I didn't really want to leave the cave, so I don't know why I did that. Uh, all right, so there's something dead over there. That's a wolf. <laughs> uh, I think not, game. I think not. All I've got is a torch. Crazy, this game thinks I'm nuts. All right, I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna go left. Ah, here we go. We got a little bit of a fire. We got lost in the storm. Let's read it. I left with others, but the storm turned bad and I couldn't keep going. Some turned back to see if they could wait it out at the old church. I kept going, but I think I took the wrong turn. I'll backtrack in the morning and see if I can find their trail. The letter is signed Alice. Alright. Well, you're not really the person I'm looking for, but... Yeah, guess you didn't make it. Sewing kit. There we go. We needed that for the, um... For the thingy. For the big, the big woolly jumper. So let's actually light this. And I think, guys, I'm going to probably leave it there for today because I've been playing this for like an hour now. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. There is, like, obviously, it's a brand new storyline to it because, obviously, it's a story mode. So there's obviously a story to it. And the story's pretty gripping. Apparently, this I'm on chapter two so far, so I don't really know how much I've got left. Um, It's going to be really awkward if I end it here and then in the next episode. The next episode is only, like, ten minutes long because I'm nearly at the end. But there was a wolf. I'm going to get, like, warm here. I think I just still need to keep actually searching the area. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna chill here for a while. 
Get our vitals up a little bit more. I feel so bad about the rabbit. It's like the animation was like... Like, he was either like, let go or kill. And it's like, you know... I expected him just to, just, you know... Just not kill it like that, but... Oh well, I guess that's the way the world works. Unfortunately, you either kill or be killed. So, I'm gonna have to kill to survive. But yeah, let's see this tasty rabbit. We worked for it, so let's, let's get it. Um... Our food's pretty, pretty quite, it's quite high at the moment, actually. Uh, so I don't really need to worry. I could do with, like, a few more rabbits. But, um, yeah, I'm good to go here. Now, I don't really know what I'm going to do against this wolf. I really don't know what I'm going to do against this wolf. I don't know if torches actually do, uh, do anything. So we're going to find out together right now. Okay, here we go. Wolves are not dogs, and out here they're very dangerous. They'll normally avoid humans. But do you want to take a chance? Like most things in nature, wolves are afraid of fire. Campfires, torches, or flares can keep them at bay. Throw torches or flares might scare them away, but there are no guarantees. In the best way to avoid tangling with the wolves is to give them a wide berth. Remember, they're attracted to blood and raw meat. You know what? Let's just throw this at them. But I did nothing! I just need to get my torch back, Mr. Wolf. There's nothing, nothing to worry about here, mate. Just, uh... Get back, foul beast! Great. Great. This is great. I just have my torch. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, he's scared! Run off, my dude! Run away! Is there any others? Are we good? Oh, I think we did it! The wolf's just running around in a circle right now. Ah! Please, just go away! Why are you running around in a circle? Go home! Okay, he's going now. Woo! That was a tough one. That was a tough one. But we, we conquered it. We conquered the wolf, guys. We did it. Okay, I need to go back in the cave and get warm for the night. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Light the torch. Light the torch. Why is the torch not lighting? Why is my torch not lighting? I'm just going to absolutely leg it back into the cave right about now. Because I am scared. I need to craft a torch as well because I'm just so... I can't even craft it, can I? What am I missing? Lamp oil, are you joking? Alright, we're gonna try and make our way back to our little safe spot with this little match. I can't see anything at all. Do I not have any more matches left? Please say I have a match left. Okay, there we go. So we came to here, then we went left. Left, 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 left. Yes, there we go. We got back to the fire. Woo! That was pretty scary. That was pretty scary. But guys, I am going to end it here for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. I know it's a little bit different to the videos that I normally do, but it's been two years since I lasted the long dark. But hope you've enjoyed it. We're going to carry on this story in the next episode because I do really enjoy this game and it's really, really cool. And I do want to find out what's happened to Astrid. So, yeah. Uh, please join us in the next episode, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you later. Bye!